Hello guys, my name is Colin Campbell. I am the founder and, um, and chairman of the Campbell Clinic and Campbell Academy Group uh, here in Nottingham. And primarily I am an oral surgeon and an implant surgeon. I've uh, placed over 6,000 dental implants and we educate research and, and carry out clinical procedures for all aspects of dentistry. And our friends at Oroscoptic have asked if I'll do just a, a little bit today on, on why, why we would use loops and how we choose loops and the benefits that they have to your practice. So what was the primary reason that I decided to incorporate magnification into my practice? Well, the main part of my work is, is, is implant surgery. I'm an oral surgeon. Um, and the, it's a simple answer to that. The answer is I wanted to see better. And I come from that generation where lots of our guys, when we qualified, we never used magnification. And then it took a little while for it to come through into our culture of work because we would say, well, our eyesight was fine, we can see just fine. But I think that when I started to see my work in photography um, and on screens, and I could blow it up and make it bigger, then I realized that I needed to be able to see it bigger while I was doing it and clearer. And I needed light um, at all times and that was consistent. And so entering into a world where we realized that the, the, the benefits of magnification and the benefits of magnification with, it, with associated light is just huge. and. Once you've looked at it once and seen it, you, you can't go back. So incorporating loops into my practice was really primarily uh, through the understanding that I would see a lot better and it would massively improve the quality of my work, which I think it did. So, so these are my, my oroscoptic loops. Um, I, have the, I have the variable magnification loops from oroscoptic. It's a, it's, a, it's a big consideration buying a set of loops and a set of loops like this. And, and you need to know that you're buying something from a trusted brand that's going to be around for a long time. So if you have issues or problems that you can deal with and you're going to get the service from them and then speaking to different people and getting word of mouth recommendations and then meeting the team, we knew that that was the kind of business that they were in. Um, and then the products, just the, the quality of the product and what it feels like and making sure that it's just, it's, it's, it's a quality uh, construction that's going to last a long time because they're going to be on and off and on and off all the way through your working life. And then the variability of products, so the ability to easily add prescription lenses in because I needed that to be able to see different things while I'm working, screens and scans. And, and, then, and then this innovation of variable magnification in the middle of a procedure was just amazing. And so that's why I chose the Oroscoptic brand and that's why I chose the product I did. So Oroscoptic, produce this variable magnification loop, which, which gives you three times or four times or five times. And, um, and, and it's, a, it's a fantastic tool to be able to vary the magnification of your loops. So I, I have a range of procedures that I carry out. Sometimes it's a wisdom tooth pod molar removal, sometimes it's apical surgery, sometimes it's, it's implant surgery, sometimes it's soft tissue surgery. And I need different things and different types of magnification for that. And these, these variable loops are fantastic for that. They also have a touch um, on and off on the screen, uh, on the side, which is which is really intuitive and really good. I don't use the composite filter on mine, but they're on the sports frames, which again, I really like because they're comfortable. And they have a battery option on the back, which folds downwards so it can change the weight of the loops, which again is amazing for comfort. And they come with four batteries, which I always love because you can recharge a set of batteries while you're running. So when I saw them, and I, I, honestly, as soon as I saw those and I saw the features on those, they were the best designed features that I had seen which fitted my practice and so if that is, it kind of resonates with you about, about what you're using in your practice and the variability that you need and the ability to charge while you're on and the ability to have the comfort over a long period of time, it's not unusual for me to have these on for three and a half hours non-stop, um, um, then I think that's an important consideration and that's why, why I chose that product. How would I advise people who were looking to buy loops? What would I say? Well, the way my, my world works is you always want to partner up with people and things like this that you think you're going to be with for a long time because then you build a relationship and inevitably you'll change and there'll be product will be designed which is, which is more innovative and moves along and then you'll be able to step to that type of thing as it enhances your practice. So first of all, are you with someone you can build a relationship who's well established, who will look after you? And then secondly, is it, is it an innovative company that are going to move on and make it better? And thirdly, is the quality of the product you're going to get, is it going to, is it going to be seamless and is it going to last? 
or are you going to be back at something because it's cheaper a lot more often? Um, I once had my loops stolen um, and I was six weeks without a set of loops. And when that happens, whether they're broken or whether they have to be refitted, it's a massive interruption to your practice. And so I want to limit that kind of disruption and that kind of uncertainty. And so I think when you're buying something like this, which is such an important part of your practice, I think you need to answer those questions. Who is it with? Um, are they going to continue to develop and is the, is the product of high quality is going to last for a long time without interruption and so that, that would be the advice I would give to people looking to buy a set of loops. So the final thing I would like to add to this just for, for people thinking about entering into the world of adding magnification or changing the magnification that they have is that it's like an eye test isn't it we should be looking at how good our vision is of what we're doing all the time we should be reviewing that like on a yearly basis it's like having an eye test you can't operate at this kind of level in dentistry and not be considering how well you can see people and so if you are a new dentist who's thinking should I have loops I think you should start to have loops as early as possible because it's the direction of travel for high quality dentistry I think we should be encouraging our, our assistants to have loops and Becky has my, my, my main implant nurse has a set of otoscopic loops so she can see what I can see um, and I think that what happens is you develop the ability to see over higher fields of magnification over time of using loops. And so I guess the earlier you get into that pattern, the better. And then working with someone who can help you to upgrade as you move on through your practice with what you need is essential. So it's, it's just an absolutely essential tool for quality dental practice. And so get on the wagon as fast as you can, and then you can move towards a better and better place for the vision of your procedure. Good luck.